okay uh last week we studied about uh, uh trinity uh, we specially studied about uh, the lord uh, jesus christ and we saw that uh, uh, the father and the son are not uh, one and the same the father and the son are uh, two different uh, persons uh, all together so we studied uh, uh, many things i uh, hope so many things are clear but uh, uh, any doubts and any questions uh, uh, can ask <coughs> om brother was just discussing uh, some question about john third chapter uh, so we were able to see that uh, that is not speaking about the father and the son together being in one and the same person it is actually uh, father uh, sending the son that actually is the testimony of the prophets uh, that jesus was speaking about uh, gopal brother uh, you have any doubts gopal brother uh, yes brother uh, please ask brother not issue as i was going through the pdfs and i i read that jesus our lord jesus christ is archangel and he's called as michael as well so i want to be more cleared about this okay a uh, good good question so first uh, uh, let us think uh, what was the position of jesus before he came to the earth okay so we all know that uh, before jesus came to the earth he existed with the father correct no Yes, yes, he exited. Okay. Now, what was the title or what was the name that God had given to Jesus when he existed with the Father? Can you remember? Can you guess some things? What are the titles? Uh, what are the names? Uh, and what was he actually doing with the Father? Word. Very good. Word. Good. Next. Hmm. Another name of Lord Jesus. Yes, there are so many things. I'll give a clue. You are, you all know it very well. I'll give a clue. Okay, okay good. See, he was called as a star. What type of oh, star? Yes, yes, morning star. Very good. He was called as a morning star. Good brother. Okay. Now let us. Uh, uh, you see, uh, these two things are there. Apart from that one. was he the son of god was he the god himself son of god yes very good he was a son of god good okay so uh, these uh, things actually uh, these were the, some of the names which uh, jesus had when he was with the father okay now let us think uh, uh, one one uh, point apart from uh, jesus uh, was there anybody who was called as a star apart from him yes lucifer yes very good lucifer is called as the morning star so you see there are both morning stars correct no so both of them are called as the morning stars but lucifer is called just a morning star while jesus is called as a bright morning star correct no yes sir okay then we also read in book of job that both the morning stars were together when the foundation of the earth was laid correct now yes brother yes then along with jesus and this morning star the other angels also joined together you see they sang uh, uh, glory and praises to god when the foundation of the earth was laid isn't it correct now yes then that means as per that definition after that verse it means that both the morning stars were together now let us try to understand what is the difference between this morning star and the other angels why this uh, difference is given correct now there must be a special difference if uh, lucifer and jesus are called morning stars and other angels are not called in morning stars then there must be some difference correct now brother yes. yes there must be definitely be a difference correct now yes yes but uh, there must also be some similarities also correct no there is a difference between the angels and this morning stars actually if you see that word morning star is actually applicable to planet jupiter why it is applicable to planet jupiter if you see the planet jupiter it shines brightly around 3 am in the morning in the sky 
as a bright star so why that uh, name is given to that uh, planet jupiter if you see that shows early in the day the star which shines brightly in the sky that star is called as a morning star so similarly this title is given to jesus because this signifies that jesus was the early creation of god that means we clearly know from the scriptures and we have studied last week that jesus was the created of god correct not jesus was created by god therefore jesus is called the son of god correct not yes sir okay then then there is a god who has created him and who doesn't have any beginning at all so therefore if you see there is a difference between this god and jesus christ and similarly there is a special title given for jesus and lucifer as a morning star because they are the initial creations of god you see the rest all the creations take it whatever you want take it all the angels and all the planets all the stars all the various solar systems everything are created by god through jesus for jesus isn't it clear the brother yes brother yes now if you see then there must be a one difference between god and jesus now what is the difference so jesus was with the father okay he was with uh, the heavenly uh, god in the heaven itself then what was the difference between both of them was there any difference brother between both of them you know it you can tell it tell me there was one particular difference between god and jesus the main difference tell me what is it that jesus is mighty god and father is almighty god good that is also there but apart from that one when you see from the angle of life there was a major difference between both of them His father has life ah uh. Jesus don't have and he he got life from Father. Yes. For the resurrection. Yes, brother. Yeah. John five twenty six, brother. Read John five twenty six. John five twenty six. Hmm. For as the Father hath life in Himself, so hath He given to the Son to have life in Himself. Ah, the Father hath life in Himself means the immortal life. the life where there is no death at all death is totally impossible even if you want to die you can't die that is the meaning of immortality god originally had this immortality he only had that immortality but later he gave this immortality to whom to his son correct or did the jesus christ have this immortality when he was with the father no no so when he came to the earth after dying on the cross proving to god that he would be faithful to god and eh, till death after resurrection only god gave him this prize as a reward okay so this clearly proves that jesus did not have immortality when he was with god so there was a possibility that he could have died also correct or Because death was possible for Jesus, correct, or brother? When he existed with the Father. Yes, brother. Now let us think on more angle. See, Jesus was with the Father. He had the possibility of death. What about uh, Lucifer? He was with God. He was one of the good angels, correct? No. Until he sinned, he was a good angel. No. Yes. Yes. Then, did uh, Lucifer have immortality? or uh, lucifer could have died or not he could die he could have died uh, that is what we are going to see in the bible that after the thousand years he is going to be totally you see put to second death he is going to be totally destroyed so similarly if you see compared to jesus and uh, lucifer all the other angels also everybody have got uh, life not immortal life there is a possibility of death for all the angels 
Hence, if you see in a broad sense, the word angel actually means the word angel and God. If you see the difference between these both characters are that uh, God only has immortality and uh, all the rest of the creations doesn't have immortality. Okay, brother, this is clear now? Yes, brother. Uh -huh. Therefore, in Bible, until Jesus proved his faithfulness on the cross, all the heavenly creations were called as angels. In the Bible, that's what the real meaning of the angel in the Bible. See, as we all think, uh, the angel doesn't mean that he, he's got some wings and he's going to come here and he's going to be very bright and he's going to come and disappear. That's not the real meaning of the angel. That's the appearance what we have understood from some scriptures. But the real meaning of the word angel in the Bible actually means the messenger of God. The one who represents God in all the places. That is what the actual meaning of the word angel in the Bible. Where is it given in the Bible? Is it given in the Bible? Yes. Book of Malachi. Malachi. Second chapter. Verse 7, brother. Malachi. 2, 7, brother. Huh. Can you read, brother? Uh, go, brother, can you read? Sure, brother. Malachi 2, 7. Correct. For the priest lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Who is the messenger of the Lord of hosts? The priest. priest. The priest also is called as a messenger of God. That means he is also called the angel of God. Now read the same verse in Nepali language, brother. Can you read in your Nepali language? Anybody has Nepali Bible or Hindi Bible? Malachi 3. 7. Malachi 3, 7. Loud, brother. Ashish, a little bit louder. Your voice is very low. Oh, okay. Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me? Ah, no, okay. Malako. Timmy or Capita Purkar Kasoni de Hini. Timmy, remember a name or what? Otikato. Rotimi little like Palangarica, Chino. Maka and Forco, Ramatimirka and Forconisu. Tina or Coporum for one nonso, or Timmy Ronzo. Amikun Kurama Forco. Malaki three seven. Malaki two seven. No, no, no. Two seven. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Malaki two seven got sorry. Kinaki Puzari, Uruka Oat Horule, Gankura Chaka Gorna Porta, Usku Mukwata, Mani Sadli Bivasta Horna Porta, Kinabani, who Sena Uruka, Porum Provoko Duto. A Duto? Did you hear, brother? Duto. Duto means what? Messenger. Duto means messenger. Angel. Oh, oh yes, and right, no. So, what what do you call in your language as uh, angels? Ah, see, correct. No, see, in English, what is given? Messenger. That is the real meaning of angel in the Bible. So, once if you say that uh, Jesus is angel, everybody will feel bad. No, no, don't feel bad. Actually, the word angel in the Bible means he is a messenger of God. Huh? Now, why was Jesus called as the word of God? He was called as a Logos. What is the meaning of Logos? What is the meaning of word? That means all the things which God ever spoke was spoken through Jesus. Hence, Jesus is called the word of God. So similarly, you read, brother. Malachi 3, 1, brother, read. In English as well as in Nepal, you read, brother. Uh. Malachi 3, 1. In English and then in Nepali. Uh, Gopal brother, read. Malachi 3 1. Hmm. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, uh, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Hmm. You see? He shall, uh, who is this messenger uh, who shall prepare the way for uh, Jesus Christ at the first advent? Uh, who is this one, brother? John the Baptist. Very good. Very good. Excellent. John the Baptist. Brother, read in your, in your Nepali Bible, brother. Huh? Uh, Malaki team. Here I am not doot lai. Doot lai. Patao nechu. Just like me raagi ki baato tayar gar nechu. Par nechu. Ani jun prabhu ko thoji thi me raagi. So, wa achana kafnu mandir ma aun nechu. Or that batsaka ti doot. 
जससँग तिमीहरू प्रसन्न हुन्छौ हेर वहाँ आउनु हुनेछ सेनाहरूको परम्परा भन्नु हुन्छ No, no. The word angel actually means the representative of God. One who speaks on behalf of God. This is the actual meaning. But what has happened when we, we have that uh, imagination in our mind? No? Huh? That uh, angel means what? He uh, should be having wings. Uh. So whenever we think about angel, we see we see, feel that he is a servant of God. Actually, in a different way. No, that is not the way actually Bible tells. He speaks to the angels. Similarly, let us read one more verse, brother. Exodus 23, 20, brother. Read it in English, then we'll read it in Nepali. Home, brother, you're there now? Home, brother, you're listening now? Yes, I'm listening. Good, good. Exodus 23, 20, brother. Yes. Hmm. Gopal, brother, you're also there now? 23, 23, 20. 20. Mm. Behold, I send an angel before thee. Mm. To keep... See, God shall send an angel before him, before the people of Israel to protect them. Now, who is this angel? Who is this angel which God sent before him? Tell me, home brother, any guess? Goblin brother, any any guess? Anything you want to guess? I go through the PDF and that is Jesus Christ. Ah, very good. First Corinthians, where is the proof for it? First Corinthians 10 chapter. First Corinthians 10 chapter. Verse 4. रॉक Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Huh? Now, did did he follow them or was he in a place, sitting in the place as a rock? Follow. Ah, follow. You read that verse again, brother. Read, brother. Gopal, brother, once more. 10-4. Huh? 1 ah. Corinthians 10-4. And did all drank the same spiritual drink, but they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that that followed the them, <laughs> underline, that followed them. So there was an angel in whose God name was put. He was following. He was the one who was guiding the people of Israel every time. And who is he? This is our Lord, Jesus Christ. Therefore, angel means we should not, uh, see, generally people think it in a very lower way. No, 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 no. It's a very dignified name. Especially, Jesus was not among the all simple angels. He was a morning star. What type of morning star? Bright morning star. The first creation of God. Imagine, such a dignity, such honor, such glory, such praise. Did any of the angels have? No. The word angel is just used for Jesus Christ. Just to say... That he was a messenger of God. And like all the other angels, he too did not have immortality. He was liable to die at any moment. That's what actually is clearly means. Okay, now uh, uh, let us read uh, one more verse in Proverbs. Proverbs. Mm. Chapter 8. Proverbs. Chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, verse uh, 30, brother. Huh? 8, verse 30, brother. Hmm. Then I was by him as one brought up with him. Ah, underline, brother. I was with him as one brought up with him means what? Huh? Read in your Nepali Bible, brother. In your Nepali Bible. 
Ashish brother, you are there. Om brother, you are there. Read in Nepali. Read a bit louder. 8.30. Probs 8.30. Okay, okay, okay. I am going to go to food in the world. I am going to go to the world. I am going to go to the world. I am going to go See, that means he has grown before the father, it seems. He has grown before God. He has seen him to grow from very, see, beginning from the creation. Then read, brother, English. Home, brother, mute. You kindly mute. Say some, some disturbance from your mic huh, when I speak. Uh, Gopal, brother, read. Continue. Again, 30. Hmm. Verse 30, brother. Hmm. Verse 30. Huh. Then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight. See, daily his delight. That means what? How was his delighting? Daily in front of God. He was there. How did he have immortality? No, like rest of the angels, he was also part of them. But he had the honor of being the son of God. Did this title God give to anybody? Did God give this title uh, that you are my sons to any of the angels? Did God give brother? No brother. No, very good. Now continue brother. Let us finish this verse. Let us switch on the verse. Come, come to read. Verse 30 and 31. Uh. Rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing always before him. Then continue. Rejoicing in the habitable part of, of his earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. His delight was with the sons of men. That is the reason when God wanted to give a ransom, Jesus was ready to die for mankind. Because his delight was with mankind. Now let us read Hebrews, first chapter. Hebrews, first chapter. Hebrews, first chapter. Uh, Verse 3, verse, verse 2, verse 2, from verse 2, read with her. Huh? One, two. Hmm. Okay. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed, hears of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, hmm. who being the brightness of his glory. Ah, now see. Here the definition of actually Jesus and the difference between Jesus and the angels is given here. How is Jesus? The brightness of his glory. Then continue. And the express image of his oh. person. See, express image means what? Pakka Zirach you tell now. Yo, this is Pakka original. That's, that is the meaning. Express image. God could have used the term image. But why express image? Did those rocks. Huh? Then continue. Huh? And upholding all things by the word of his power. Of his power. By God's power. He's upholding everything. By being obedient to God. Then. When he, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Ah, now what has happened? Now he has sat on the right hand of God. When? After purging our sins, after proving to God, faithful unto death, what has happened? Huh? He has sat on the right hand of God. Underline, brother, this words. When did Jesus sit on the right hand of God? Not before. Did he sit uh, uh, on the right hand of God before, brother? No, brother. Ah, where was Jesus sitting? After proving his right. Yes. Before that yes. one, he was with the father. Isn't it? But he was never recorded as saying sitting on the throne. So sitting on the throne means what? The same authority, the same position is being shared. The same power. That's what? Upholding all things by the word of his power. Same authority, same power. Everything was given to Jesus. 
now now what has happened both are equal now continue brother next hmm. being made so much better than the angels underline brother he is better than the angels though the term angels is used for jesus he is not like the other angels no 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 though no angels don't have immortality though jesus doesn't have immortality though both are of the same nature there is a difference in glory there is a difference in honor there is a difference in that uh, well, you see that uh, praise uh, you see all the things the difference is there uh, you see the difference in glory dear brethren see how like for example though in the police station everybody all the police will be in the uniform isn't there a hierarchy there is a constable there is a head constable there is a sub inspector and above is, there is a inspector though everybody are same department power is different so similarly jesus is much better than the angels so therefore if you see jesus what type of uh, power he has he has the chiefest of all the power huh? chiefest of all the power means chiefest of all the angels he is the a yeah, leader for it huh? uh, where is it given hold your hand like this only huh? let us come read job book of job Thirty four, sorry, thirty three. Book of Job, thirty three, brother. Thirty three, twenty three, brother. Ah. Job thirty three, twenty three. Hmm. If there be a messenger with him. See, if there be a messenger with God, the word again same messenger means what angel? Same term is used there. Correct, no? See, if there be a messenger with the God, ah, uh, what, what, what was the, what is the meaning and what is his uh, work, ah? Uh, An interpreter, one among a thousand. Underline interpreter means what? One who speaks for God, one who tells what God wants to speak. You see, ah, uh, a interpreter, one among a what? Thousands. Ah, uh, that means what? He is the chiefest or he is the lowest? Chiefest. Yes, chiefest among thousand. Ah, uh, then to show on to man his upright rightness, uprightness. Hmm. Hmm. Continue. Oh, continue. Then he is gracious unto him, and said, "Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom." I have found a ransom. Ah. Huh? You all remember the class about ransom, ransom class, first class, second class, ransom. Jesus gave a ransom for all. You you remember, brother? Yes, brother. Ah, wait, I'll show you on photo. You see, because of man's sin, huh? What happened? Ah, death came into the world. Ah, how many men? One man, and one man is the. Adam and because of uh, Adam's uh, sin, Jesus came and gave a ransom to redeem Adam. So what happened? Ah, uh, through, ah, uh, through whom? Through second Adam, Jesus. The whole world will be saved, isn't it? Ah, uh, where is the photo? One minute. Uh, yes. Uh, you can see another. You see Adam. Adam was the one who sinned. Jesus gave the ransom. Ah, he is speaking about Jesus only. If there is a interpreter, if there is a messenger, if there is an angel who is worthy to show to man his his actually uprightness, then I'll say, you messenger, go and give a ransom for him. It is found in Jesus. So Jesus is one among thousand. So he is the chiefest one. Now come to Hebrews, brother. Again, continue, brother. Hebrews. First chapter, read with us. Hebrews first chapter, continue with us. Reading verse four. Don't stop. Continue. Ah. Being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. See, 
Jesus has obtained an excellent name, wonderful name, than whom? Then all the angels, angels sinned. Jesus never sinned. He was faithful to God. Therefore, you see in the Bible, it says, no, Jesus is the same yesterday. Jesus is the same today. Huh? Jesus is the same. Forever. Forever. Huh? Yeah, are angels like this one? Tomorrow, yesterday, they were faithful. Today, they are unfaithful. Tomorrow, who knows? That is the condition of angels. But Jesus is not like that. Then continue with that. Huh? For unto which of the angels said, he at any time, thou art my son. This day I have begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. See, has God told to any of the angels that you are my son? I have begotten you. I have created you directly. Though everything is created by God, but not directly. Jesus is the direct creation of God. Has God told this one to anybody? No, Bible says God has not told to anybody means Jesus is the chiefest one. Jesus is the chiefest and he was the primary one. Then continue. Huh? And again, hmm. when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, into the world, huh? he said, and huh? let all the angels of God worship him. Underline all the angels of God should worship him. And imagine, now who is the leader of all the angels? Who is the chiefest of all the angels? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Therefore, the title Archangel is given only to Jesus. No Archangels. Archangel. Correct, no? Huh? The word Archangel is given only to whom? Only to Jesus. How? How can you tell? First Thessalonians 4.16. Read, brother. Huh? We already read it, but let us revise it now for better clarity. Uh. First Thessalonians 4.16. Correct. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the south, with the voice of the archangel. Ah, underline, brother. With the voice of the archangel means what? Who is this archangel? So Jesus is going to return with the same power. Same power of what? The chiefest of the angels. He is going to return as the archangel. Isn't it? The chiefest of all the angels. Therefore, he says, when Jesus was sent into the world, God commanded all the angels to worship him. Everybody around the Jesus. Matthew 28, 18, it says, no, all power in heaven and earth is given to me. So, why the word Michael is used for the archangel, if you see, Michael, that word Michael means, as I told you last week, it is actually a, a Greek uh, and a Hebrew word also. We say mik means, uh, huh? mik means uh, huh? image, hell means uh, God. So who is in the image of God? Who is in the image of God? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Everybody are there. But uh, Jesus is what uh, type of image? Hebrew first chapter we read now, huh? third verse. Who being the brightness of his glory, the express image of his person, this image is only having by Jesus. Therefore, he is called a Michael Archangel. Therefore, you see, in book of Jude, brother, huh? in book of Jude, huh? verse 9, read, brother. Huh? Book of Jude, verse 9. Book of Jude, verse 9, brother. Huh. Verse 9. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed <coughs> about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Okay. Now, just try to understand. This was a debate between whom? Whom? Archangels and devil. Uh, Archangel and devil. Regarding what? Regarding the body of Moses. Correct. Now, uh, regarding body of Moses, means what has happened actually? Why, why some problem with body of Moses? Why what happened? What do you think? Um, brother, what do you think? Ashish, brother, what do you think? 
Tell me, what would have happened? Just think it out. Reason. You tell me whatever you want. What do you, what thoughts comes to your mind? What was the problem to debate or argue with? You see, devil regarding the Moses body. Tell Ashish brother, home brother. Tell me, do you know? Shall I give a clue? Shall I give a clue? Uh, I'll give a clue, brother. Uh, shall I give a clue? Okay, ah, okay. See, very good. Okay. Now, who buried the body of Moses? Lord. Ah, very good. Correct, na? Yes. Did uh, any of the human beings go to bury the body of Moses? No. No. Why? Correct. Very good. Exactly. Come on. Now tell me why. Past. Huh? They all uh, they all like they were in the journey towards uh, that place. I forgot that place. Okay. Uh, uh, Mount Pisgah. Yes. Kanan. They were on Kanan, the border Kanan. of Kanan. 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 Mm. Okay. okay. Now, what was the problem? They could have buried and later on gone to the promised land, no? Wait, what happened? You know, you all know it. Just, just think. I'll give a clue. I'll give one more clue. Home brother, Ashish brother. I'll give a clue. Uh, okay, now think. See, if uh, human beings, the people of Israel, they would have seen the place of burial of Moses, what would the people of Israel would have done? Eh? They would have gone to worship the grave of Moses. Yes or no? Mm. Yes. Because the same thing the devil did with the religion of Islam. Today, the Mohammedans are going and worshipping the grave of some prophet. Correct, no? If uh, Moses was alive, you see, and Moses' body or Moses' grave was found, what would the people would have done? They respected Moses a lot. Isn't it? Huh? Did they respect Moses or not? Yes. Yes. Yes, they respected Moses a lot. I'll show you in verse. Uh, Jesus says, um, Book of John, Book of John, one minute. Uh, Book of John, chapter 5, verse 46, brother. Huh. John 5, 46, brother, please. Ashish, brother, one brother is uh, exited, I think, by network issue. Just try to contact him, brother. Okay, uh, go, brother, read. For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. Ah, they respected so much of Moses that after 4,000 years of his death, Jesus is writing about him. Why? People of Israel believed Moses so much. If uh, body of Moses, uh, if they would have found, Satan would have easily pulled all the people of Israel for idol worship. Isn't it, brother? Yes or no? Yes. That is the reason he came to take the body of Moses. Now, why did God send uh, Michael, the archangel, to fight uh, with the devil? He could have sent uh, somebody else, no? Correct, no? He could have sent somebody else, no? Why did he not send him? Because, eh? because, you see, if any of the other angels would have come, what would have happened? Satan would have easily deceived them. He would have easily deceived them to sin against God. How? Did he do it? Yes. He did the same thing in the first world. All the holy angels of God came to protect man, Adam and his children in the first world. But Satan deceived them to have a relationship with the women of this world. You see, so God knew that all the angels are lower than Lucifer. 
So anybody lower than Lucifer, if they are sent to fight with Lucifer, definitely they are going to lose. So there is only one person who is more powerful than Lucifer. And who is it? Jesus Christ. That is the reason they sent Jesus. Therefore, this title is given to only our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, brother? Okay, brother. Now, one more verse is uh, he, uh, Daniel 12.1. Daniel 12.1. Okay. Let us read that one. Daniel 12.1. Read Daniel 12.1, brother. Huh? Okay, brother. Mm. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that some time. Mm. At, and mm. at that time, mm. thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay, when Michael shall stand, okay, the great prince, see, who is the great prince? It's given there only, prince of princess, lord of lord, who is it? Huh? Jesus Christ, huh? when he standeth for thy children, which children? Thy children, who is thy children there? That means uh -huh. Daniel's children, that means Daniel's people. Now, Daniel belong to which country? Israel. Israel, very good. This verse says, when the Michael shall stand for Israel, there shall be a great time of trouble. Okay? Now, did Jesus some way say about this great time of trouble? Ashish brother, Om brother, you can also interact. Did Jesus some way say about the great time of trouble? Uh, Matthew 20. Very good. Very good, brother. Matthew 24, 24, it says, there shall be a great time of trouble, such was not since the beginning of the creation of this world. Correct? Now? The same great time of trouble is saying here. Now, when will this happen? It says, when Michael shall stand. Now, what is the meaning of Michael shall stand? Stand means what in the Bible we need to see. Correct? Now, for the Bible, what is the dictionary? I will yes. If you have any questions, where should we see the answer? In the Bible? Yes. Very good. Now let us see the meaning of stand in the Bible. Daniel chapter 11 verse 3 And a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule. rule. So stand means what? Rule. Yeah. Therefore, this verse in Daniel 12.1, it says, Oh, brother, can you mute, brother, as soon as I read? Thank you, brother. Okay. So, it says, Daniel 12.1, it says, when Michael, the great prince, Jesus Christ, when he, stand, when he stands in support for Israel, that means when he will start ruling for Israel, what will happen in Simsa? They shall be a Tell me, there should be what? Great troubles. Yes. So, this is what speaking about Jesus Christ. We are going to study about Daniel 12 chapter in detail in the coming days. Okay, brother? So, all these things, if you see, this clearly proves that uh, the chiefest of the angel, the great prince, you see, the one altogether lovely, the chiefest among the 10,000, the one among the thousand, you see, the archangel, the chiefest of all, whom God commanded to worship, he is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, brother? Okay, still any doubts, any questions, brother? No, brother. Okay. I got the answer. I got the answer. Okay, good. Ashish, brother, home brother, any questions? Not now. Okay, 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 good. Ashish, brother, any questions? Okay, then uh, we'll finish with the word of prayer.